يمس بلا الستر يا من حكمك العدل ساري والعفو منك wapenzi watazamaji karibuni katika kipindi chetu cha mwendelezo wa masomo ya ziada katika channel yetu ya Nur Al Mustafa Zanzibar today uh, we discuss uh, about the subject biology uh, in the topic called the classification in this topic we discuss about the subtopic called the kingdom funk now we start about uh, the kingdom fungi as we know that there are five major kingdom which are kingdom plantae kingdom animalia kingdom fungi kingdom monera and kingdom protist today we shall discuss only about kingdom fungi okay by knowing that the kingdom fungi what is kingdom fungi uh, among uh, the major kingdom fungi or the major things we want to discuss in the kingdom fungi we must to know that what is mycology when we say mycology mycology is the study of fungi so this kingdom differ from other kingdoms since have a special or distinctive characteristics which different from other kingdoms so in the kingdom fungi we have a distinct features that differentiate this kingdom fungi and kingdom other kingdom or differentiate between kingdom fungi and other kingdom like kingdom animalia and kingdom plantae so now we discuss about the characteristics of kingdom fungi uh, one is they undergo heterotrophic nutrition Kingdom fungi undergo heterotrophic nutrition means they depend for the, from other organisms. When we say heterotrophic nutrition is the type of nutrition in which organisms depend for the, from other organisms. And these organisms are called heterotrophs. Understand? Also, when we say heterotrophic nutrition, we mean that within heterotrophic nutrition, organisms can feed the food from other organisms. So this kind of heterotrophic nutrition, there are a form of heterotrophic nutrition which are called the saprophytic nutrition. Therefore, kingdom fungi undergo saprophytic nutrition. By making clear on this point, kingdom fungi undergo heterotrophic nutrition in the form of saprophytic nutrition. What is saprophytic nutrition? Saprophytic nutrition in the type of nutrition in which organisms feed on dead organic matter. For example, mushroom. Mushroom feed on dead organic matter. Another characteristics, they are auto, they are auto, uh, sorry, they are out, uh, eukaryotic cells. When we say eukaryotic cell, what, is, what do we mean? When you say uh, eukaryotic cell, in the type of cell which have nuclear bonded membrane okay so kingdom fungi they are autotrophic uh, they are eukaryotic okay another one uh, they are multicellular organism kingdom fungi they are multicellular organism what is multicellular organism multicellular organism is the organism which made up by many cells uh, when we say made up by many cells, means organism uh, they they compose or they made up by several cells. They are type. There are two types of cells. The first one is uh, unicellular, uh, unicellular, and another one is multicellular. So when we say multicellular organism, these are organism which made up by several or many many cells. Now we move on in the types or other 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 characteristics which are they reproduce using spores kingdom fungi reproduce using spores means they produce spore and or they undergo sporulation so as to release spores for fertilization to take place so this kind of reproduction they call it asexual reproduction in the form of sporulation 
Another one, they store food in form of glycogen. So the storage of food. Every organism, they store food. For example, plant, they store food in form of starch. Animal, they store food in form of glycogen. As well as uh, kingdom fungi, also or fungi, they store food in form of glycogen. The final one is, uh, the final characteristics is, uh, they made up, they have a cellulose, or they have a cell wall made up by chitin. The kingdom fungi are made up by cellulose. The cellulose is the outer part of the fungi. So these parts, they made up by what? Uh, by chitin. Now, we move by discussing the phylum of kingdom fungi. <coughs> Understood? Now, in our level, they discuss only three division of phylum of kingdom fungi. The first one is ascomycota. Second one is basidiomycota. And the last one is zygomycota. So now, let us to discuss one by the one till the end of this lesson. Okay, ascomycota. What is ascomycota? Or phylum ascomycota? The phylum ascomycota, they are called sac fungi. Why we call it sac fungi? They produce stores in the sac like structure known as ask. Uh, the ascomycota is called sac fungi. Why we call it sac fungi? Because they produce spore in the sac like structure called or known as ask. The second characteristic they produce spore known as ascospores. They produce spore known as ascospores. Uh, another one, or for example, of this organism which are found or belong in the phylum as ascomycota is called yeast. Second one, cup fungi, penicillium, powdery, and ringworm fungi. Also, common example of ascomycota is yeast. Now, in this lecture, we discuss about yeast. So now we discuss the characteristics of yeast. One among the characteristics of yeast, they are unicellular organism. What is unicellular organism? We have already said that uh, the unicellular organism is the organism which made up by only one cell. It's the organism which made up by only one cell. Yeast can be found on the plant leaves and the flower and or in a salty water. Another characteristic, many types of yeast can fermentate sugar to produce alcohol. So here, we use a yeast can fermentate and to produce what? To produce alcohol. Also, some yeast are used in the production of beer, wine, and breads. So the yeast we use in our home. So as to produce what? To produce either beer or used for cooking, like bread. Also, another characteristic of yeast, the main distinctive characteristics between different, which differentiate between uh, ascomycota and other phylum is uh, they produce by asexual reproduction in the form of budding. When you say budding, what is budding? The budding is the process or in the form of asexual reproduction in which organism they cut off, called the bud. Okay, here now we see the structures of yeast. Also, the second one or the second phylum is a zygomycota. Okay, zygomycota uh, reproduce by asexual reproduction through spore and the sexual reproduction through formation of uh, zygo, zygo, zygosporangium. Okay? Zygomycota, they reproduce in both sexually and asexual reproduction. When we say sexual reproduction, in the type of reproduction which involves fusion of gamete, means male and female gamete, they fuse together and form zygote. But 
a sexual reproduction in the type of reproduction which involve only one uh, only one parents and they have no any kind of fusion of between male and female gamete so here the egomai quota reproduce asexually reproduced by asexually through spores and sexually through a formation of zygorangium zygosporangium second one they reproduce spore called the zygospores this reproduce spores called the a uh, zygo zygospore like in ascomycota they reproduce spore in form of ascospores and here they reproduce spores by or called the zygo zygospore example of zygomycota are black bread molds or rhizopus and muca uh, another characteristic the structure now here we want to discuss the structure of muca and the rhizopus as we see here they have a structure of mucus or muca and rhizopus now here we see that they have a bread mold or black bread molds called rhizo or as a, another name is called the rhizopus for example you see here you have the whole structure of rhizopus okay now we want to discuss the structure or characteristics of muca ready okay they reproduce very fast means reproduction is very higher another one at the uh the first they appear as a white because of their hyphae so the muca the first in the development they appear as a as a white why because they contain hyphae the hyphae call uh, give the strengthen of of the muca another one muca can grow most in the decaying uh, food and the vegetable muca can grow mostly in the growing foods and vegetable so here we see that the muca directly is a saprophyte when you say saprophyte as will remind you that uh, saprophyte organism which feed on dead organic matter the last one is basidio mycota so the basidio mycota are characterized by producing a spore so here we see that the spore produced in basidio mycota is called the basidio basidio spores basidio spore contain in a structure contain in the a structure known as basidium the mature basidio mycota are dispersed from basidium for production of new plant so after matured of basidium the basidio uh, basidio basidio spore are produced so as to develop another another plant or another uh, another new plant example of basidio mycota are mushroom toadstool and bracket bracket fungi so here we see that the structure of mushroom so in the basidio mycota we want to discuss only the structure of what of mushroom now here we see the structure of mushroom okay what the characteristics of mushroom mushroom grow on dead organic matter therefore the mushroom is saprophyte they uh, they have a gills produce basidial spores at their tips so here they have a gills gills is not gills like the fish the gills are found in the upper surface or in the cup in the cup of what in the cup of of mushroom also the part of mushroom above the soil is called the fruiting body so sometimes we ask you what is fruiting body the fruiting body is the part of mushroom above the soil also they have a pillars in the cup of mushroom at the heads okay now we summarize that by mentioning the economic importance of kingdom fungi so now we want to discuss uh, the advantage of kingdom fungi one as we know that we have a mushroom what the mushroom mushroom it used as a source of food so one among the importance of kingdom fungi or advantage of kingdom fungi they act as a source of food for other organism for example mushroom also a uh, brick uh, breed making yeast are used in brick or uh, bread making they are used in bread making 
So we are used in our home so as to make bread. For example, is yeast. So yeast is used in what? In, a, uh, in bread making. Also, we use, uh, we use it as a source of medicine. For example, we call it, we have a penicillium. Oh, he, here we have a penicillium. Penicillium is a fungi which are used to produce penicillin. Penicillin is a medicine. So fungi is used to produce medicine. Also, it is used to a production of organic acid, such as acetic acid. Here, we use fungi so as to produce what? To produce acid. For example, citric, citric acid. Uh, okay, now, after looking at uh, the advantage of kingdom fungi, now we want to discuss about the disadvantage of kingdom fungi. What the disadvantage of kingdom fungi? Uh, one, they cause animal disease or they cause disease for animal. Also, they cause a plant disease like powdery milk by uh, pro, uh, they, uh, powdery, powdery mildews. Uh, they produce or uh, they cause disease for what? For plant. Also, they cause deterioration of natural materials. They cause decaying or destroy. They destroy, for example, uh, plant uh, destroy board and they destroy other 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 furnitures. Also, for example, they destroy what timber. They cause food uh, spoilage. So they they cause food spoilage. For example, mucus. Mucus they cause spoilage of what of food. And the last one. Some, uh, some mushrooms are poisonous. Uh, some mushrooms are poisonous. They fall, therefore, they cause uh, poisonous for other animals. For example, ammonita. So those are the disadvantage of kingdom fungi. Summary of this lecture. Oh, kingdom fungi are large and successful group of organisms. The kingdom fungi are large and successfully group in organism, which contain a widely range of species from unicellular organism, for example, yeast, to multicellular organism, for example, toadstool. They play, uh, they play an important role in biosphere. They, call, uh, they are used by human in economic and medical purpose. By saying that, here we are, we are at the end of our presentation. So, we continue on another lecture. See you. Ya musbila sitri ya man.